Hey, welcome to the series of everything you need to know about Python in simplest possible way. In the series of pattern printing, see, in our previous videos, we have solved so many pattern printing problems. In this video, we will be solving this particular pattern printing problem using for loop, string concatenation, and also using string multiplication. If you don't know about string concatenation and also string multiplication, you can watch my first printing pattern video where I have explained clearly about string concatenation and also string multiplication. So if not, if you focus more on this video while printing the pattern, you can able to understand string concatenation and string multiplication. So let's go ahead and see how we can print this particular pattern using for loop string concatenation and also using string multiplication. So here what I, what we are having is that here we are having two patterns here. One is upward, downward pyramid and upward pyramid. By printing these two patterns and combining both of these patterns, we can actually get this whole pattern that is what present in here. So first what we will be doing is that we will try to print this particular downward pyramid. So later we will print this upward pyramid. So to print a downward pyramid, what I will be taking uh, doing is that first I will take a variable as rows. By mentioning these rows, we are uh, taking how many number of rows we wanted to print this particular structure like this. So initially I will be taking a static value as 5 to print this particular pattern. So if you carefully observe this downward pyramid, we not only having these stars but also having spaces here. So in the first row we don't have any spaces but in the second row you can observe a space here. So after space only we are getting this pattern so we need to include the space as well in the pattern. So in the third row we have two spaces, in the fourth row we have three spaces like that the spaces are increasing. Uh, on each uh, row until we have reached this particular single star. So like that we need to increment the spaces. So for that reason I am taking a variable which is of spaces by mentioning with zero because in the first row we don't have any spaces because of the reason I am mentioning the spaces as zero. So now what I will be doing is that I will take a loop which is a for loop to uh, and I will take a variable i in a range of values. Why I am taking this for loop and range is that to generate a range of values uh, by using the range of values we can actually print this downward pyramid. So now what I want this range of values is that I want this range of values from row to zero and on each iteration I wanted to reduce these values with minus one. So here by mentioning this range with rows zero and minus one we are generating a range of values from 5 to 1. So let's go ahead and see how we have generated the values. So if you see the result, I have executed this program. If you see the result, we are getting the values as 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So to generate this range of values only, I have used this range function and this for loop. So now if you carefully observe this pattern, we don't have these values as 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have these stars in some other pattern. So the pattern is that in the first row, we have 9 stars in the second row we have 7 stars the third row we have 5 stars like that the stars is decreasing so if you carefully observe this pattern what you can find is that on each row the value is multiplying with 2 and subtracting with 1 what does that mean is that the value of i is multiplying with 2 and subtracting with minus 1 so initially we have the value 5 this 5 is multiplied with 2 which is of 10 and subtracting with 1 which results 9 that is what we have getting this particular 9 stars. In the second iteration, the value 4 is multiplied with this 2 which results 8 and subtracting with minus 1 and like that we are getting 7 stars. So now if I print this, if I execute this program, we can actually get the result as 97531 that is what how exactly we are getting this particular stars. So we are getting this particular pattern and if we multiply this pattern with this uh, these numbers with this star we can actually get this particular pattern no so before doing that we need one more thing which is our spaces without spaces we can actually generate we cannot actually generate the desired pattern so for that reason i will mentioning spaces here so the spaces on each iterating is uh, increasing so because of that reason i will mention place 
plus equal to 1. So by mentioning this, I, the spaces will be inc incremented on each iteration. If I execute this, I can able to get the space variables as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4. Like that, the spaces also increasing. Now we will replace this uh, val values with the actual pattern that we wanted. So I will multiply with the space of the spaces variable by doing this we are actually doing string multiplication the string is spaces and i am multiplying the spaces with the variable spaces name now i will be concatenating these two strings the string is another string is star string so this star string is multiplied with this pattern of numbers that what we have identified through pattern so by doing these spaces and stars combining together by using string concatenation we can actually generate the pattern. If I execute this, I can able to get the result of downward pyramid that is what present in here. So I hope you can able to understand. So now what we will do is that we will generate this upward pyramid as well. So by do, by generating this upward pyramid, we can actually combine both of them and generate this whole pattern that is present here. So for that, what I will be doing is that I will take one more for loop here for j in range. Now this time I want to generate range of values from 1 till 5 to generate range of values 1 to 5 I will mention 1 to rows plus 1. So here we are taking dynamic value rows that is present here. So by mentioning this we can actually generate a range of values 1 to 5. So after that what I will be doing is that I want two spaces also because if you carefully see here in the first row of upward pyramid we have four spaces which is one two three four after that we are having a star in the second row we have the second row we have three stars one two three like this the spaces are decreasing on each iteration so for that i will take the spaces as well so first i will take spaces and i will multiply the spaces with actual spaces to get the pattern so i'm multiplying the spaces with spaces later i will be concatenating this particular spaces with actual pattern that what we expected with the stars. So I am mentioning star and I am multiplying this star with this pattern. So the pattern is the similar pattern that what we have observed in downward pyramid. So on each row, this row is multiplied with 2 and subtracting with 1. This row is multiplied with 2 is subtracting 1. This is considered as second row. Second row is multiplied with 2 which results 4. 4 minus 1 which results 3. So for that I will mention the pattern as j multiplied with 2 and subtracting with minus 1. By mentioning this we can actually generate this pattern present here. So now after that what I will be doing is that I will increment the spaces variable. I will decrement the spaces variable on each iteration. So if you carefully observe here we are reducing the spaces on each iteration right. So that is what I wanted to do by using this particular space minus equal to 1. So if I execute this, we may not actually get the exact pattern, but let's execute and see. So now if you carefully observe here, we are not getting the same exact pattern because we are getting some different pattern. So why we are getting is that we are misleading the spaces. So if we see the spaces here, I am printing the value spaces. So you can see how we are getting the spaces. So, so the spaces are having 5 in this uh, here. So here this spaces variable will be replaced with 5. But that is not what we wanted. We want only 4 spaces. Right. So by mentioning only 4 spaces we can actually generate this particular star here. So for that reason what I will be doing is that I will mention spaces minus equal to 1. By mentioning this we were reducing a spaces by 1. So I will comment this and if I execute this we are getting the similar result by removing that space but we are not exactly getting the exact pattern by having two values which are repeating the star row which is repeating two times. I don't want to repeat this star two times because here we don't have a single star two times. So because of that reason we can actually generate this pattern which is of upward pyramid with these values only by having three stars. So for that reason what I will be doing is that I will replace this particular one 
with two by mentioning two we can actually start with the stars like this so this is considered as second row second row multiplied with two which is a four four minus one which is three so like that we can actually start with this row itself so if i execute this still we may not get the actual result but still we will try so if I, after executing this i am getting this particular pattern so this pattern of upper pyramid is moving towards the right one step the reason is that we have mentioned one here previously because we are we need to get the stars one so but by that we have get exact pattern previously but if we have this value as one here we may not get we are not getting the actual result so by mentioning this one with the two we can actually get the exact pattern here so if i execute this i can able to get the exact pattern that what we have what we want here so i hope you have understood this logic to generate this pattern if not let me explain one more time so make you clear so here initially we are taking rows to know how many number of rows that user wants to print this particular pattern later we have observed spaces in this pattern so because of that reason i am mentioning a variable space with zero because in the first row i am starting with zero spaces in this in this for loop what we are doing is that we are generating reversed pyramid so because of the reason we are generating a range of values from this particular 5 to 1 so by mentioning this range of values we are actually generating this particular pattern by using string multiplication of spaces and also string multiplication with this pattern that what we identified in this uh, pattern so by combining both of these uh, multiplications of spaces and stars by string concatenation we are getting this pattern and on each iteration we are incrementing the spaces because here what we have incremented the spaces so in the next for loop what we are doing is that we are generating this upward pyramid that is present in here how we are generating is that we are generating a starting with a range of values 2 to how many number of rows that we are having so by mentioning the similar structure in the pre like previously the spaces and stars combining using this string concatenation we are generating this pattern so on each iteration we are reducing spaces because that is what the pattern containing on each iteration the values of spaces will be reduced so we have in the while generating we have observed difficulty to get the pattern so to get the actual pattern this is a crucial step crucial statement which is spaces need to be reduced two times after executing this particular downward pyramid so now i hope you can able to understand this logic to generate this pattern so later in our next video we will try to print this particular pattern using for loop string concatenation and also using string multiplication if you can do the solution for this problem do it and comment your solution in the comment section anyway we will discuss the solution for this problem in our next video so to stay updated subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications to all so that whenever i upload video you will get the notification and if you found this video interesting and if you have understood this particular concept hit the like button and thank you for watching this video see you in the next one